Check out this little cottage on the beach here. It's kind of tucked in on the rocks just next to the water. Man, this is cool. It's a nice little cabin. Hang out right by the ocean. It's got a bed in, in here, little shelves. So the camp has some ski boats and some water toys and stuff. And there's a dock system that they, they set up here for the summer months. And the guy or, or girl that runs this area, they stay here in this little cabin. I just think that would be awesome. Stay here, just have this little cabin, peaceful by the water, and then let the kids play. <laughs> Don't forget your teepee. Welcome back to another Axe Family video. Hope you're doing well. Hope you got a smile on your face because today is a beautiful, beautiful day today out on Keats Camps Island. And we're gonna, we're gonna go trim a tree. Now I am not a professional arborist. I just said to Gil, hey, is there any projects that you need help on? And one of them that he said was to prune this tree. So he set me up with the chainsaw and I'm just going at it. Usually as I work, I try to think about what am I doing and metaphorically, how does that apply to my life? And so pruning, I guess you would 
you would see like if you have growth in your life in the wrong direction even though it is growth like if you're progressing in the wrong direction you should cut that off so that you can apply more energy towards growing in the right direction so eh, nugget of wisdom for today <laughs> Like I said, I'm no arborist, so I just did the best that I know how. Hopefully I didn't kill the tree. <laughs> Pruning trees is definitely something that I want to learn more about. So if you have any tips or advice, leave them in the comments below. I know that a lot of YouTube videos are instructional on how to do something and I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know how to prune a tree properly but I'd love your I'd love to just learn more there's actually a guy that um, knows a lot about pruning trees we're actually hoping to go visit him so I can learn more one day I'd love to have a bunch of apple trees make my own apple cider All right, that was really fun. Doing some chainsaw work, just running a chainsaw is super fun. Makes you feel good. Uh, Taylor and I are walking. You coming with me? Where are you going? We're going over here. Uh, we're going over to the neighbor's house, and we're gonna. Uh, I just I just met the guy um, <clears throat> today. I just met the guy today, and he invited Taylor and I to come over for some coffee even though I don't drink coffee, but I'm excited to go over and get to know them. So we're just gonna hang out with them and, and talk and and uh, should be good. I'll let you know how it goes. Oh man, that was awesome. Would you say that was oh, good? Yeah, so good. So on this trip, on our journey, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm just adopting it for my life, but <laughs> I, love to meet new people and I'm a very strong introvert but um, going out of the way to meet people has actually been really good for me and so um, I'm trying to meet somebody new every single day it's not like a hard and fast rule but I'm just when I have the opportunity to meet new people get to know them a little bit then I try to do that and so that was a, a couple that are actually doing something similar to Taylor and I where they're, you know, they don't have a home, they're traveling full time, going to different places. They said they spent, and the most, it was like two years in one place, but that was like the max. They said sometimes it's just a few months and like they're here on the island here, staying in somebody else's house just for two weeks. And I just happened to meet him um, when I was trimming the tree today and so they invited us over to hang out and hey geese anyways it was a really good time so like, what, are to, the odds? what are the odds what are the odds that they're here the yeah. same time we are they've been doing what they're doing for 10 plus years 12, 12, 12 years. years so they just had a lot of wisdom and yeah. experience to share with us and Super encouraging. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, very good day and it's beautiful. This is like first, this is the second day without rain in the last like three weeks yeah. or something. So, anyways, if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because we want you to come along our journey with us and hit that thumbs up button on this video. And 
what else should we do? I don't know. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Know that you're watching. Just say anything you want, and I'll read it. Um, love you guys. We'll see you later. Hats off to you.